Hello, hello, and welcome to another studio vlog. So it has been three, maybe four months. So in that time, I've had a new baby, a birth to child. Um, so if you don't know, my name's Jade, and I'm the owner of OXML Studios. And at the minute, as you can hear the baby, I'll go to him in a minute. Okay. So here's my new addition to the family. So this is Maximus. Hello. Say hiya. Say hi. No? Okay. Um, so yeah, I've had a baby. I took some time off um, YouTube because it has been quite difficult. Just because it's been the summer holidays, I've had all the other children off, plus having a new newborn. Um, and there's just no time to do anything really, but I've still stayed active on social media, me Instagram. What's the matter? Hmm? Um, and I've still been designing. What's the matter with you? Hmm? What's the matter with you? Um, and I'm going to try and record she says. So, um, today I've got, I'm going out for lunch with a friend today, which will be really nice. Um, at 12 o'clock, so I'm going to leave at about half 11. Um, this morning I'm going to plan um, in my new traveller's notebook. So I did um, move to a bullet journal and it's been great. It's been absolutely amazing, but I've noticed that I just haven't got the time. Um, so I'm going to try and go back to a traveller's notebook and it's super simple because you can right so i had to feed the baby but i'm back so i'm gonna try and um plan my week in my traveler's notebook i'm gonna record it for you so you can have a little look One second. <laughs>
friend at the local pub for brunch, lunch, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's 25 past 11, I'm meeting her at 12, so I'm hoping that we can feed Max in time. Um, but it's nice to just do brunchy things, isn't it? So, um, I'll let you know. studio built in the garden for Alex Knife Studios and I'm vlogging every single bit of it from start to finish even if it's just photos um, and it's very exciting it's gone from one step to another and it'll be somewhere for me to sorry I'm just a bit cautious because I'm recording outside um, it'll be somewhere for me to hide and be creative and just my me place because at the minute all my stuff's everywhere the whole house is just a mess um, and I'm constantly having new ideas and buying new things and so yeah but right, I'm gonna go and uh, meet my friend and order and eat and I will hopefully speak to you later if not it will be tomorrow so bye bye Hello, so I'm editing over my video and I decided this year to launch a Kickstarter. So whilst you're still watching this video right here right now, it's still live and it ends on the 19th of October. We were, so if you've never heard of Kickstarter, it's a platform where you can support creators like myself to help fund projects or products and bring them to life. So basically without the Kickstarter I wouldn't have the funds to be able to afford all of these products that I want to bring to life. Um, so I just want to tell you sneaky peek into the future. Five days in we were fully funded for the Calida, the notebook which is foiled and then two notepads, A5 and A6 size. Fully funded, it's happening, you know. If you 
now watching this and the Kickstarter is now not live, you can get these products on my Etsy shop at OXML Studios or OXMailStudios.com. So I'm basically editing my page, adding loads of informative information for people. It's a long process, but it's as long as you make it. So I give myself two weeks from start to finish to research everywhere where I was going to get all my products from, how much, and um, doing research of cheaper products, cheaper um, companies, and to get all the information uploaded. And I did it. I absolutely smashed my goal, and I was probably a couple of days above what I actually wanted to achieve, which I think is really good. So as you can see whilst watching, I'll use Procreate to create my images and then I save them as a PNG and transfer them on my iPad to the Kickstarter for the campaign. I then sit and write a description or whatever I'm saying. So for example, right now I'm writing thank you. I'm thanking people if they're pledging and even if they're sharing um, the, the Kickstarter campaign to anybody because actually that helps also. So if you want to have a little sneaky peek of what I actually wrote, go on to the Kickstarter and find it. Um, so the goal now is to push for the postcard collection which is a stretch goal and the key rings which is also a stretch goal. So it would be, I think we're at, currently at the minute we're £20 off of being at £800. So we absolutely smashed it again. Last year I did the same, I did a Kickstarter for stationery and we smashed it, we did £1000. It's makes me so happy to soon so this time next month maybe a little bit after that i'll be sitting here with my calendar my foiled notebook it's going to be amazing um, and the whole slogan of the campaign is making my dreams a reality everybody out there you aren't helping make my dream a reality and without you i couldn't do most of what i do so this is my thank you and it's just mind-blowing that a year ago I didn't have any of this and now this is my life this is what I want to do for the rest of my life I'm getting really like sentimental here now and I but yeah So you also have to make sure that you're including shipping within your tier and your rewards which takes a very long time to check because obviously I haven't got the products at the minute, I don't know how much they weigh, I also don't know what people are going to order, it's very complicated so if you've got any questions make sure you just comment down below or find me on Instagram, I'm happy to help. Obviously I'm no expert but I don't mind talking through um, and I also don't mind sharing where I get my products from so if you're interested to know where I got my notebooks, my calendars, the notepads then comment down below. There will be a studio vlog when they all arrive of me opening them and my reaction. Um, it's as, as I say in every studio vlog I do, this is literally to document my journey from the start to the not to the finish because it's never going to finish but and the good and the and the bad because it's not always play sailing um so here so i've just showcased i get my notepads from hello print i wouldn't get them anywhere else um i just find it it's they're really good quality and it's quite cheap so it works for me So as you can see, I'm just trying to design a digital mock-up of what the notepads will look like. Because I haven't got the products, it's very difficult to showcase what they will look like. Um, but I need people to be able to see what they look like so that they would potentially want to buy them. So these, the A6 ones are quite long in length and I wanted that for like little to-do lists when you're sitting on your desk and you think, oh I need to ring Joe later. Just write it on your WhatsApp, 
and then you can cross it off later or even like writing a shopping list oh we need bread we need milk we need all of this and it's just simple what's it but then on top of that is that they'll also be really really good for a mail tag for pen pals so if you don't know i'm a pen pal out that's why all of this started if you go on my ox mail studios and etsy you'll know that i sell writing papers and all like, lots of lovely other stuff and these would be really good when you ask your pen pals questions i think it's really a nice way to get to know a pen pal without asking weird questions within the letter so that's what i do anyway if you don't know what i'm on about google mail tag um, there's many ideas on Pinterest if you're interested in that. And then the other one is an A5 normal notepad size. You could write absolutely anything on there. So I've just uploaded it from Procreate and I've uploaded it to my Kickstarter. And I will talk to you in the next segment, I think. Hello again. So I'm showcasing how I make a Make-A-Wish charm. Now, I probably do it really complicated, but I find it easier to print four to a page and then I know my measurements, I mark my measurements and then I cut them out. It works well for me and it's providing, it, it's great basically. So if someone orders just one Make-A-Wish charm, I'll print four of the same one to make sure that we have stock ready. Now, for example, um, a couple of weeks ago, I had a Make-A-Wish charm that was really popular. I can't remember what it was now. But right now, right here, the That's What Friends Are Spore charm is literally flying out of the shelves at the minute. It's literally, so I'm printing five of these sheets, A5 sheets, and they're just going. So I'm currently in the process now of making bulk batches of the Make-A-Wish charms so that they're ready for when people order and it's working quite well. The problem is I've got thousands, I haven't really, I've got hundreds of designs of Make-A-Wish charms on my OXML studios that I can't make them all because some of them don't sell really well but they sell some of, whereas some of them sell like quantities of 20. Um, and then sometimes I get customised orders, which I'm happily to do. So I try and make as I go, but if I know that a product is doing really well, I'll make a lot of. Enjoy.
Do you know how much this means to me to be able to record so many shipping labels? I decided to take the evening to come up with all of the different designs for the different months of the calendar for the Kickstarter. So from January all the way to December I need 12 different designs to go with each month. Then I really wanted certain months to represent the month that it is. So for example December will represent Christmas obviously. So I spent whatever time 15 minutes I think because I'd already had the designs anyway I'd come up I think I've got 18 designs and I just needed to just pick which ones I wanted to go where stay around for a little sneaky preview of two of the designs that I chose <music>
this is it, let's hit launch.